welcome back to the channel and today you join me in arguably one of the prettiest most beautiful and picturesque valleys in all of England, Buttermere Valley. It's actually my birthday tomorrow so we're going to be spending a couple of days here enjoying the sunshine. We're going to be doing a couple of Wayne rides which we're just about to do now and then I'll take you along on a bit of a magical mystery tour to see what we get up to. I hope you enjoy seeing the lakes in this beautiful springtime sunshine. I was always into nature and the outdoors as a child, but I was also an avid reader. I'd return from the library with a stack of eight books, which was the maximum you were allowed to take out at any one time. We had an old fashioned sweet shop in the town too, a narrow space with jars stacked from the floor to the ceiling. It wouldn't look out of place in Diagon Alley. So I would collect my books and my sweets and head home to get tucked up in a blanket with my cat. I'd read The Hobbit and The Fellowship of the Ring, but found Tolkien's rich and unrivaled use of language quite dense to get through at that early age. It wasn't until my dad took me to the cinema to watch The Fellowship when I was around 10 or 11 years old that the film captivated me. It's easy to lose that sense of wonder and magic when you grow up, but it's worth keeping hold of or finding again if you need to. When I look around at this landscape, I don't just see the big view, I look for the little moments of magic within the way the grass moves or the light filters through the leaves or the way history has left its mark. So much of the Lake District invokes that Tolkien-esque quality and it always feels like we're going on an adventure, even if it's just a couple of small Wainwright fells. Even a simple grassy hill makes me think of when the walks ambush. So as I reach another birthday, I'm still immersed in stories and have little interest in growing up. That's another two Wainwrights done. A little bit windy to chat with you at the moment. These are really quite small fowls, so I wasn't expecting quite as spectacular views, especially from low fowl. When we went up first, absolutely spectacular. This one here, our fowl barrow, 
It's a little more nondescript in terms of the walk, but you still get really far-reaching views, so well worth it. If you are new to fell walking, I would definitely recommend Zofell. That was absolutely beautiful. Really enjoyed that one and super nice and easy. So we're going to head back down now and I will show you where we're sleeping tonight. Do you see the acorn shells? This looks to be a squirrel snack spot. I've been lucky enough to see red squirrels up here in Cumbria. The red are a native species that has been found in England since the end of the last ice age. Sadly, they have become much rarer since the larger, non-native grey squirrel was introduced from America in the 1870s. Welcome to our pod for the night. I came across these while looking for places to camp and I was just really curious to check them out. I'm always really curious about cabins. I'd love to have my own land one day and build something. We woke around 6am, rising with a jackdaw nest. Cam is never impressed with an early start, though I love an early morning wonder, as it feels like solitude hour. Hopefully you can experience a little of the peace from here too. The name Buttermere is thought to be Old English for the lake by the dairy pastures. It sits within a glaciated valley with a stretch of flat, fertile land separating Cromach water. Today is my birthday, so we headed back down to the pod for breakfast and presents, which was lovely.
We decided to take in two more Wainwrights on the way home, not Rick and Ard Crags. I didn't feel much here as this was some of the windiest conditions I've ever encountered in the lakes, as I don't make a habit of going out when it is high winds. However, these were just two small fowls and we were well prepared. I've included a couple clips at the end for you to see. I hope you enjoyed coming along on this. Leave me a comment and let me know where you're watching from. It's lovely to share this English countryside with people from all over the world. And remember to subscribe so that you can join us on the next one. And I'll see you then.